Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Today I have an out of the box crazy, crazy thing that I want to share with you, which is this tongue depressor crossbow. Super fun, super easy to make, and it's so, so cool because it really, really shoots. So I'm going to teach you how to make one right now. For this project, you're going to need a number 16 rubber band, glue gun, two small spools, one tongue depressor, one popsicle stick, one 28 millimeter paper clip, one clothespin, stir sticks, scissors, and pom-poms. So first thing first, let's make our arrows because these are fun and easy. Now stir sticks come in two different lanes. You can actually also use those little uh, plastic stir straws too, but I didn't have any of those to show you today. But you can use these stir sticks. They come in two sizes. The main thing here is what's great about the stir sticks that's not great about the plastic um, red ones, those red plastic straws, is that you can cut a little tiny triangle in the back end here. And this is where you're going to push it against your rubber band, which is gonna be your shooter. And so you've got a little notch there, just like you do in like a regular arrow. So once more, I'm gonna cut that. All I'm doing is cutting from corner to corner there and cutting into the middle from the other side there. We're just cutting a little teeny notch out of there. Now adults, you might wanna take over that cutting job just for safety sake, but as you can see, that ends up with a little arrow notch at the end. And then we're just gonna make these a little safer because I will tell you, these things really do shoot. They pack a, pack a punch. And so I'm just gonna take this little pom-pom um, and glue it to the end. And what I did is I just put some glue on both sides there so that I can squeeze this around. And again, always use adult supervision when using a hot glue gun. Okay, there you go. Now let's make the crossbow. Now, if you've looked at my website, this is a simplified, modified version from the crossbow that I have on my website. It's just simpler. It's actually much, much easier, and actually, I think, much better. So we've got our tongue depressor. We're going to basically glue this popsicle stick on the end here to make a T. There you go. And then we're going to add two more drops of glue on the outside here, one here one here, and these are for the spools. The spools are super important though. That is one thing you really, really need. If you can't find spools, you just need something that like you could use a, a bottle cap or like the cap of uh, toothpaste. You're gonna need two toothpaste caps, something that can stick up like that because it's gonna be where your rubber band goes. Now, for our sight and also to hold our arrow, we're gonna take our paper clip and we're just gonna open it up to make like a little elbow and see that with the skinny edge the, the smaller side we're going to glue that to the bottom so place the glue on the bottom side of your tongue depressor and then take the skinny side and glue it on there don't burn your fingers you can always use your Popsicle stick there. Excuse me, a yeah, stir stick. There you go. Those I love the coffee stir sticks. You can use those for all kinds of projects. Now, once that's dry, you can set that down. Now, let's make our shooter part. This is just a 16 number 16 rubber band. It's just your standard regular rubber band. What I'm going to do is right in the center, try to find the center there, I'm going to tie a knot so that I end up with basically a figure eight. This figure eight is gonna go one side over one spool, one side over the other spool. Now do make sure that you let this dry really good before you're ready to start pulling back and shooting because you will see, you do get a little pressure here. It's pretty good, huh? And as you can see, you could actually forego the next step, which is to, um, add the, the holder, the clip, because it's, it's ready to go right now. Shoots pretty well, huh? Okay, now I'm gonna take my, my clip holder, which is just a clothespin. I'm gonna put a string of glue right here and just put that onto the back end of the tongue depressor. There we go. 
and then you just load it this way. Now when you're loading it with this clip here, you are going to have to twist your arrow to make it stay. But you just lift this up, put it underneath, and she's locked and loaded, as they say. And that's all there is to it, to making your very own crossbow. Now, do remember, this thing really does shoot. So make sure you're never aiming at a person. You're only ever aiming at an inanimate object, like a cup or, you know, make your own little target stand. But I do want to show you how it shoots. And so check this out. I'm going to try to aim for my cameraman. He's going to hate me for doing this, but here we go. Pretty good, huh? For more ideas like this, come check us out at Sophie-World. And if you like it, give us a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe so that you can be in the know as soon as we are on the go. That's sophie-world.com. Click the link down below to become a subscriber.